Hey, Blender Bob here. I made some changes on my UV add-on. I added UV projections. If you know Maya, you know that you can do UV projections. For example, I will take the monkey here and I could go into UVs and say I want a cylindrical projection. And I would have some gizmos here that I can use to adjust the projection the way I want it. So I could scale it and I can move it around and I can rotate it also if I want. Same thing for this object here. If I take this one and I go with a an automatic projection i will get this gizmo here but this one doesn't work as well because it goes in the center so it's not aligned with this one here and if i move around well it just creates some weird artifacts sometimes i can scale it but then it goes in the wrong direction and uh, yeah it's not it's not it's kind of tricky to use it's not perfect but still the point is that you have a gizmo to adjust your stuff so if i go here and i do a planar projection planar here I have this gizmo here that I can adjust to decide in which direction I want my projection to be. So I can really align it the way I want it. If you go to Blender, you can also do projections. Well, first of all, you need to be in edit mode, select everything. I will go into UVs and I will try, for example, a cylindrical projection. So it does something, but I don't know how it's oriented. I don't know how big it is. I don't know anything. I got an align to object or align to equator or view on poles and I have all these weird options that don't tell you anything about what's actually going on. And it's the same thing for all the UV projections in Blender. And that's why I came up with my own system and it actually works in object mode. So I added this section here called projectors and I can select which one of projection I wanna do. So let's say I wanna do a projection planar that's gonna be on the Y axis here, on this one here. So I will click on Y and click on planar and I get my projection here and I get a gizmo that shows me the alignment of the texture and I can move this around to perfectly align it the way I want it, which is pretty cool. Not only this, but I can rotate it and I can, I can move it, I can scale it and it's gonna adjust the UVs according to this box here. Once you are done, you click apply and remove and it's gone. Same thing for cylindricals. So I can take this here. I got my alignment in Y, but let's say I wanted it in X instead, or I wanted it in Z, then I can change it. It's going to update live. So let me apply this. And it also works on multiple objects. So I got these two here and I'm going to do a Q projection. So now you can see that the bounding box fits both objects. Here I made a cubic projection on this uh, geometry and you can see that the UVs all stretch. That's because the keep ratio option was turned off. If I turned it back on, it's going to use the widest dimension to determine the bounding box. So I created this cubic projection here and I can scale it and I can modify it as I mentioned before. One thing you cannot do though is to go into edit mode and modify this surface here. It's not going to change the projection. Of course, for a cubic projection, it doesn't matter if you change it to X, Y or Z because it projects on all axes anyways. If you happen to be in edit mode and you try to use this tool, it's going to automatically switch to object mode. Like all my add-ons, it is free. The link is in the description. You just need to download the release, drag and drop in the viewport, and it's installed. Enjoy!